Hello and welcome to Math Made Easy with Punolom Jong. In today's lesson, we'll be doing the Pythagorean theorem. Right, guys? Uh, the lesson objective is to use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? Uh, the vocab is Pythagorean theorem. So this is the word that you need to know by the end of this lesson. Okay? Let's look at the key concept of what is the Pythagorean theorem, okay? I'm not going to read this whole passage. If you want to read it, you can pause the video and read it. But basically, Pythagorean theorem, it's about the relationship between the hypotenuse and the legs of a right angle triangle. And it goes like this. If we have a triangle A, B, C, okay? And this triangle is a right angle. Okay, so C, side C will be our hypotenuse. And the sum of leg A plus leg B, okay, will be equal to the square of C, which is our hypotenuse. Okay, so the sum of the squares of the length, which is our two legs, A and B, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. In symbol, it's C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Let's apply the theorem and see. Okay, example one. Find the missing measures using the theorem. So, looking at this triangle, we can see that 6 is the leg. And 15 is another leg. And x is our hypotenuse. So we write our theorem as c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Okay? Now, what is our c? Like we indicated, it is x. Okay, what is our A? You can use 16 or you can use 15 as A. It doesn't matter. So I will use 6. It will be 6 squared plus 15 squared. Okay, when you add 16 squared plus 15 squared plus 6 squared, you get... 261 x squared to remove the square we square root both sides x will be equal to the square root of 261 which is 3 root 29 so we found x x is 3 root 29. Let's look at question B, okay? Now, in this question, we have the first leg and the second leg. And we are given the hypotenuse. So we are looking for one leg now. We write the theorem. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Our C is 11. Okay, there is a way to remember where is your C. It is always opposite of the right angle. And it's also the longest side of your triangle. So we have 11 squared is equal to X squared plus 9 squared. Okay, we want to solve for X. So we remove 9 by subtracting 9 squared on the side and subtracting 9 squared on the other side, okay? We are left with x squared on this side is equal to 11 squared minus 9 squared. This gives you 40. You square root both sides. Square root of 40 will be equal to x squared x is equal to 
two root ten, and this is approximately six point three two. Okay, so that is your x value. Now uh, let's practice some more examples. So looking at this example, we are given uh, the two legs and we are looking for the sides. So guys, if you want to pause the video, you can pause the video, try the examples and then come back and watch the correct answer, okay? Now this will be C squared equal A squared plus B squared equal our A is 7 squared, our B is 17 squared, and our C is X squared because it's the one opposite our 90 degrees. So what is 7 squared plus 17 squared plus 17 squared? We get 3, 3, 8, and then X squared. We square root both sides, square root both sides. X will be equal to the square root of 338. It is 13 root 2. Okay. That's about 18.38. Now let's try the other side. And C. So in this case, just like the previous example, we are given the, the C. So we have C squared equal A squared plus B squared. So our C is 25 because it is the hypotenuse. And then 22 can be your A plus x squared to remove the 22 you minus 22 squared minus 22 squared so x squared will be equal to 25 squared minus 22 squared you get 1 4 1 you square root, you square root. X is equal to 1 for 1, 11.8, okay, um, 8, 7. So now let's go to the last example, which is a word problem to see the real life application. So we can apply this here where we are given a word problem. So they say, a man is locked out of his apartment. The only open window is on the first floor. He needs to borrow a letter from his neighbor if he must place the letter five feet from the house, five feet from the house to avoid some bushes. What is the length of the letter? So we want to know if it's A, B, C, or D. So we apply the same rule. C squared equal a squared plus b squared our letter is our hypotenuse because here we have a 90 degree angle okay so our c is x squared it's what we're looking for five squared plus 12 squared let's get the sum we can just do it in one step square root, square root, and we find that x is 13. All right, guys, so our answer is C. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope it helped you understand how to use the Pythagorean theorem and how to do a, a real-world problem, okay? If you like, subscribe, press like, and uh, leave a comment to tell me what you need me to help you with, anything that will help this channel become better. Thank you so much and bye.